okay good day everyone now we will be talking about physical fitness test let's discuss first what is a physical fitness test so in your grade level grade 11 you're all familiar with uh, the said uh, test uh, let us summarize and what is included in the said test so let's start with the introduction so what is a physical fitness test here in the Philippines so a review of existing physical fitness tests uh, introduced by Dr. Aparicio Meki, so former chairperson of Philippine Sports uh, Commission and director of Bureau of Physical Education and Sp School Sports. Ayan. So was conducted for a purpose of establishing testing protocol considered to be more current and appropriate for the special program in sports and in the new K-12 program so the development of physical fitness test was conducted through workshop initiated by task force on the school sports uh, yan, yung ginagawa ting test na to is, uh, is a must in, uh, in the schools nowadays uh, for us to know if you are physically fit or you have something something that you must improve on so this gave rise to the physical fitness test manual so we will be talking about the manual later the manual is intended for the use of public and private schools for the physical education and sp school sports program so physical fitness test objective so what is its objective so the number one objective is to determine the level of fitness of a student so we, we, we can see if you are physically fit using the said test so to identify strength and weakness for development and improvement so if we can see that you are a weak on a certain skill so what are we going to do so you can develop it by several uh, maybe trainings or program that can suit to develop a certain skills so also to provide baseline data for se selection of physical activities for enhancement of health and skill performance also to gather data for the development of norms and standard in our school uh, we are now making the data of uh, every student we have and uh, we are getting the this kind of test on every grade level starting from grade 4 up to grade 12 so to motivate mot motivate sorry so and guide and counsel pupils and students in selecting sports for recreation so sometimes we we want a certain sports but is it possible to see uh, what is the best sports for you so we can see uh, the certain sports that is intended or compatible sports for you also for competition and lifetime participation you can all always use this test to uh, measure yourself yung physical fitness mo so also we are going to see the test protocols so we need to prepare some uh, paraphernalia always prepare your first aid kit if ever something bad happen you can always uh, rely on this first aid kit so paunang lunas kung mayroong mga sprint or yung uh, mga nakatus natusok kayo ng kung ano sa uh, during this test mabuti nang laging handa so using the first aid kit always have drinking water and a small tower, towel or bimpo to wipe yung sweat natin also individual scorecard uh, I I am uh, requesting you to uh, jot down or uh, write yung mga scores nyo on any scratch paper uh, and you will transfer it online I will send the link where you can uh, input your physical fitness score so your scorecard will be available online so but you cannot uh, input one at a time so I am requesting you that 
you uh, finish first the said test before um, transferring your data online. So during the test, so you need the uh, yung sa body composition sa BMI natin. You will need tape measure, so bathroom scale or L square. So yung bathroom scale naman yung sa BMI body mass yung body mass index natin sa body composition nyo. I assume nga na meron na kayong result on the on your BMI. So we need to test the flexibility. So using ruler or tape measure. Mas maganda yung tape measure. So also we will need to measure or have a test on your cardiovascular endurance. So what you are needing is a stopwatch, maybe your cell phone, a step box or stairs. So for elementary that's 8 inches. But for your uh, secondary, senior high school and junior high school, you will be needing 12 inches. So also a drum. So letter D, uh, we will um, examine or you will test also your muscular strength using exercise mat. So also we need to test your speed. So using stopwatch. Test your power, meter, meter stick, tape measure. So you can have your basketball, size 6 for elementary, size 7 for, or any ball that you have in your, uh, because you are in home. So any ball will do. We will test also the agility. You will be needing tape measure, masking tape, or chalk. Also your stopwatch. Now we will uh, the letter H your reaction time. So plastic ruler 24 inches, table or armchair. Uh, any table will do. Sa bahay naman natin na uh, may mga table tayo, so that will do. Also your balance. So for your balance, on or testing your balance, you are you will need the stopwatch. So observe the following um, prior to actual day of testing. So the testing station should be safe from and free from obstruction. So when administering administering your physical fitness test, so I want you to clear uh, the area free from obstructions. Also, uh, at the same time or the same equipment and testing station should be used in the start of the year testing and yung quarterly testing natin so with the guidance of the teacher so I I cannot uh, guide you uh, in your homes so I'm requesting your parents guardians or any supervision by adults to allow the student to go through the various tests with minimal effort exerted to familiarize themselves with testing procedure. So you are grade 11, uh, but yet, administer this kind of test with the supervision of your parent or guardian. So test protocol, so you can have it uh, in 3 days. So sorry, letter D, the test requiring cardiovascular endurance and those other tests that involve same muscle groups should not be taken in succession. So ito nga yung suggested sequence of administering the test. So day one, uh, you can have your BMI and three minute step test. So day two, basic plank, 40 meter sprint, and the push up, stick drop test and sit and reach on day three so hexa hexagon agility test juggling standing long jump stork balance and your zipper test so i will let your guardian or yourself to record and keep the result of your own performance so in the scorecard, uh, 
it will be online the school may include the result so uh ito kasi is coming these slides sorry uh is coming from the dev end so we can use this and include it in your student profile under the dev end or yung lis natin so learners information system so always conduct warm up and stretching before the start of the test except for the three minute step test so when administering the three minute step test so ay lang po dapat yung gagawin nyo hindi lang po kayo pwedeng tumakbo muna kasi kailangan from your resting pulse dun po kayo magkisimula kasi we will uh, measure the resting pulse yung mga pulse rate natin mamaya natin i-explain yan so administering the test is in a challenging and encourage encouraging sorry and fun field environment so challenging siguro mas challenging ngayon because we you are in your home so pandemic kaya mahirap yung mga ibang test so i am not requiring you to have some or several tests if but if you can so the, it's much better So, part 1 is the health-related fitness. So, you are all familiar with your body mass index, but I will uh, show you again how to compute your body mass index. So, your weight in kilograms and your height in meters squared. So, yung meters squared po, uh, and nga, kailangan naka meters squared yung ating mga height. So, ayan po, 30 over 1.44. So, 2 or, sorry, 20.83. So, you can see the classifications. So, below 18.4, you can consider yourself under the tip and you are underweight. So, under naman po sa 18.5 up to 24.9, you are your weight is normal or your uh, body mass index is normal. So, under naman po sa 25.0, up to 29.9 you are overweight and under 30.0 and above so that's the time you can call it obese so next that is the body mass index uh, I know that you are all familiar with your body mass index uh, let's skip this uh, your height now uh, let me fix the okay that's it so you are talking about the flexibility so what is flexibility so it is the ability of the joints and muscle to move through its full range so to administer the test we will be uh, using the zipper test so the purpose of the test is to test the flexibility of your of the shoulder girdle so the equipment you are needing for the said test is your ruler so procedure from the test or uh, for the perform for the performer you uh, stand straight you raise your right hand or right arm bend your elbow and reach down across your back as far as possible and extend the left arm down behind your back so I can send the video after this so I will uh, edit the video so that uh, it will be simultaneous you can uh, watch it you are watch this video while you are doing the test so you can follow how to perform the said test yan po so for the form forward continues so bend your elbow up across your back and try to reach uh, or cross your finger over those of your right hand as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades so to test the left shoulder repeat the procedure A and B with the left hand over the shoulder so parang ganyan lang po yan at baliktad 
pero I will send the video I will attach some video how to uh, measure or how to perform the zipper test so ano yung kailangan i record so you yung distance between your uh, two hands ayun po yung sukatin nyo in centimeter so your record must be in centimeter again the record na makuha nyo should be measured in centimeter yeah so this is the record yung point system so point zero, zero point one centimeter ah uh, yeah sorry yung record zipper test to the nearest zero point one centimeter so points so this is the score sheet or this will be the numbers that you can put on your score sheets so the standard is zero points did not uh, yung standard sa atin tingnan mo rin zero points did not touch fingertips so one point for just touch the fingertip or saktong tama lang po number two or uh, points number two is the finger overlap in 1 cm so maybe nag overlap lang sila unti Lam at 3 points finger overlap by 3 to 4 cm number 4 points number 4 finger overlap by 5 cm and uh, the highest points that you can get here is uh, 5 points that if your finger overlap by 8 centimeter or more so you can have 5 points stand erect to test the right shoulder raise your right arm bend your elbow and reach down across your back as far as possible extend your left arm downward and bend your back bend your elbow up across your back and try to reach cross your fingers over those of your right hand as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. To test the left shoulder, repeat procedures A and B with the left hand over the left shoulders. For the partner, observe whether the fingers touch or overlap each other. If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands and record the distance in centimeters. This table show how you get the score. So the uh, now we will get the sit and reach. So sit and reach, the purpose of this test is to test the flexibility of the lower back and the extremities. So in this test you will be needing tape measure or meter stick, also cardboard or paper. For the performer Sit on the floor with the back, head and shoulders flat on the wall. Feet are 12 inches apart. Interlock thumbs and position the tip of the fingers on the floor without bending the elbows. Place hand on the top of the cardboard or paper where the tips of the middle fingers are the top edge of the cardboard or paper. Start the test by pushing the cardboard or paper slowly and try to reach the farthest distance possible without bending the knees. Bouncing or jerking movement is not allowed. Do it twice. For the partner of this test, as the performers assumes that the B procedures position the zero point of the tape measure at the tip of the middle fingers of the performer. See to it that the knees are not bent as the performer slides the farthest distance that he could. Record farthest distance reached in centimeters. Scoring. Record the farthest distance between the two trials to the nearest centimeters. So we will be talking now one about the cardiovascular endurance. The ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to deliver oxygen to working muscles and tissue as well as the ability of the, those muscles and tissues to utilize the oxygen. So endurance may also refer to the ability of muscle to do 
repeated work without fatigue. So one, uh, the first one is the three-minute step test. The purpose of this test is to measure your cardiovascular endurance. Uh, you you will be using stopwatch, drum or clapper step. So yung height po, sabi ko kanina, for elementary you are needing the height of 8 inches. For secondary, you will be needing 12 inches. So yung mga hagdan sa bahay pwede naman natin basta sukatin natin. 3 minute step test. For the performer, position at least 1 foot away from the step or bench. At the signal go, Step up and down the step or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 24 steps per minute. One step consists of 4 beats, that is, up with the left foot, count 1, up with the right foot, count 2, down with the left foot, count 3, down with the right foot, count 4. Immediately after the exercise, Locate your pulse and wait for the signal to start the counting. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds. Multiply it by 6. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal ready and go. Start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. For the partner, as the student assumes the position in front of the steps, signal ready and go. Start the stopwatch for the three minute step test. After the test, allow performer to locate his or her pulse in five seconds. Give the signal to count the pulse beat. Let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by six. Scoring. Record the 60-second heart rate after the activity. So next, strength is the ability of the muscle to generate force against physical objects. So purpose again of this uh, test, the push-up, is to measure the strength of upper extremities. So the equipment is the exercise mat or any clean mat procedure will you will record your push-ups for one minute for the performer lie down on the mat face down in the standard push-up position palms on the mat about shoulder width fingers pointing forward and legs straight parallel and slightly apart with the toes supporting the feet for boys straighten the arms Keeping the back and knees straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbow. Upper arms are parallel to the floor, maximum of 50. For girls, with knees in the contact with the floor, straighten the arms, keeping the back straight, then lower the arms until there is 90 degree angle at the elbow. Upper arms are parallel to the floor. Maximum of 25 repetition. Perform as many repetition as possible. Maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute or 20 seconds going down and 1 second going up. For the partner, as the performer assumes the position of push-up, start counting as the performer lower his her body until he or she reaches 90 degree angle at the elbow. Make sure that the performer execute the push-ups in the correct form. The test is determined when the performer can no longer execute the push-ups in the correct form, is in pain, voluntary stop, or cadence is broken. Scoring, record the number of push-ups made. So you can do it as many as you can within one minute scoring so record the number of push up made now we will be you uh, having the basic plank so the purpose is to measure the strength and stability of your core muscles so
So, exercise, yung equipment po, again, is the your exercise mats or any clean mat. Assume a push-up position. Rest body on forearms with palms and finger flat on the floor. Elbow are aligned with the shoulder. Legs are straight with ankles. Knees and thighs touching together. Support weight on forearms and toes. Make sure that your back is flat. Head, neck, and spine are in straight line. Keep abdominal engaged contracted. Do not let stomach drop or allow hips to rise. For the partner, ensure the availability of a mat, smooth flooring, or anything that can protect the forearms. Give the signal, start, go, and start, press the time piece. Make sure that the back of the head, neck, spine, and ankles are in a straight line. Give two warnings. Stop the time when the performer can no longer hold the required position or when the performer has held the position for at least 90 seconds. Holding plank position beyond 90 seconds is considered unnecessary. Scoring. Zero cannot hold. One, 1 to 15 seconds. 2, 12 to 13 seconds. 3, 31 to 45 seconds. 4, 46 to 50 seconds. 5, 51 to 90 seconds and above. Now, we will be looking for the skill-related fitness. So, we will be talking about the skill-related fitness. So, measuring the speed. Actually, uh, I think that some of you cannot do this, uh, but some of you can. So, the purpose of this 40-meter uh, sprint is to measure your running speed. So, your equipment needed is your stopwatch and running area of 40 meters. So, again, I, I, I repeat, you are not uh, required to do this uh, task. But much better if you can by the supervision of your adult family or your parents guardian so procedure for the performer again letter A at the signal of ready stand behind the takeoff line so you will draw a line where you should start the tips of the shoe should not go beyond the line and assume a crouch position at the signal of get set assume and crouch position or botox up with the both hand on the starting so parang right um, what do you call this runner's position continuation at the signal of go run to the finish line as fast as you can so for your parents or your guardians or your adult supervisions so set the, the stopwatch to zero point at the signal of go is that the watch and stop it as performer cross the finish line scoring or the time should be in seconds so record the time in nearest minutes and seconds Now we will be looking for your power. So the power is the ability of your muscles to transfer energy and release maximum force at a fast rate. For the partner, so place zero the first point of the tape measure exercise at the or the first you will be doing After the jump, is the mark where jump. the back of the heel so the purpose of, of this test is to the measure the explosive strength to the take and line. power of the record leg muscle. The of so two you will be needing your Scoring, tape measure or your the best uh, meter distance sticks. In so stand meters. behind the take up line hexagon agility parallel to each other. purpose the, the measure the ability of the, of the body to move the in a different direction bend quickly. knees and swing Equipment. arms backward measure Stop the watch, swing arms forward as you tape. jump. Landing on the balls of both feet. Length of right side jump is as far as you can. Mm -hmm. 
for Do high school. Do not control the momentum of the child. For elementary, continuously each angle forward. is 120 Perform degrees. Perform the test twice in for succession. The performer. So for the partner, so place the zero point of the tape measure at the takeoff line after the jump. Spot the mark where the back of the foot, tama ba ako? Of back of the heel of either foot of the performer has landed nearest to the takeoff line. So, kung mapansin nyo, one fluid motion lang yan. And then, the nearest foot will be measured. Hindi po yung mas malayo. The nearest foot will be measured. Uh, you can record this using, again, centimeter. Nearest centimeter po tayo. So, agility test. What is agility? It is the ability to move different direction quickly using a combination of balance, coordination, speed, strength, and endurance. So, the purpose of this test is to measure the ability of the body to move in different direction quickly. So, you will be needing tape measure, stopwatch, chalk, or masking tape. Sorry. So again, hexag hexagon size. So the length of each uh, leg or yung each line should be 24 inches. So 60.5. Each angle is 120 degrees. So you can uh, maybe uh, estimate the angle. So option. So for the uh, elementary is 16 inches. Other option or for the secondary 20 inches so that is the uh, length of the hexagon so, stand with both feet together inside the hexagon facing the mark starting side as the signal go using the ball of the feet with the arms bend in front jump clockwise over the line then back over the same line inside the hexagon. Continue the partner with all the side of the hexagon. Rest for one minute, then repeat the test counterclockwise. For the partner, partner. So, for your partners, or yung rec mag-record po sa inyo, letter A is to Start the time at the go signal and stop at once. The performer reached the side before the side where she started or he or she started. So, kung hexagon po, kung bago mat, kung saan siya nag-start na point, pag uh, naikot niya na po yung hexagon, uh, you can stop the time. Record the time of each revolution. Let's start the test performing jumps on the wrong side or steps on the line. So, pag uh, yung napuntahan niya raw yung maling line or yung maling point, you can restart or you must restart the said test hanggang di na perfect. So, scoring. Add the time of the revolution and divide by 2 to get the average score. So, record the time in nearest minutes and seconds. So, um, minute and second siya. So, you can get the average of the two trials. For example, you get uh, one minute for trial one and uh, one minute and 30 seconds for trial two. So, if you can get the uh, what do you call this? If you can get the minutes and seconds in average, so you add them up and divide it by two. So, reaction time. So, we can test also the reaction time. So, reaction time. What is reaction time? So, the amount of time it takes to respond to a stimulus. So, uh, you can measure the reaction time using a stick drop test. So, the purpose of this test is to measure the time to respond to a stimulus. So, equipment needed. 24-inch ruler stick. Ruler or stick, armchair or table and chair. Again, I will attach the video uh, for you to follow. 
So, procedure for the... Sit on chair with armrest or chair and next to the table so that the elbow and the lower arm rest on the desk table comfortably. Place the heel of the hand on the desk or table so that only the fingers and thumb extend beyond. Index finger and thumb should at least be one inch apart. Catch the ruler with the thumb and index finger without lifting the elbow from desk or table as the partner drops the stick. Hold the stick while the partner reads the measurement. Do this thrice. Note, zero should be at the top of the index finger and thumb of the performer. So again, yung partner nyo, anong kailangan gawin? Letter A, hold the ruler stick or stick at the top allowing it uh, to dang dangle between the thumb and the finger of the performer. So hold the ruler stick so that the 24 inches mark or index finger so no part of the hand of the performer should touch the ruler stick. Drop the ruler stick without warning and let the performer catch it with his or her thumb and index finger. So again, using only your thumb and index finger. So the scoring of this uh, record the middle of the three scores or you can get the middle of the three scores so record the middle of the three scores for example if the scores are 21 18 and 19 so the middle score is 19 so you can get the middle score so coordination you can test also the coordination using physical fitness test so what is coordination first the ability to use the senses with the body part to perform motors, motor tasks or motor skills smoothly and accurately. So what you will be, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, what is the purpose of ja uh, or this uh, physical fitness test? So you will be doing your juggling to measure the coordination of eye and hand. So eye-hand coordination po, yung test natin. So, you will be using SIPA. So, yung washer with straw or anything na similar dun sa SIPA. So, bundle the rubber, any similar local materials, 4 to 5 grams. So, any po. So, for the performer, hit the SIPA or rubber band or similar local materials alternately with the right and left palm upward. The height of the material beyond toe should be at least above the head. For the partner, your partner will be going to count how many times the performer has hit the material with the right and left hand. So, stop the test if the material drops. So, again, kabilaan po. So, paano ko paghinto? Kapag nahulog po yung sipa. So, record the number of hits and trials. Scoring, record the number of hits performer has done. So, record for the um, add them up your right and left palm so next will be uh, talking about balance what is balance it is the maintenance of equilibrium while stationary or while moving so the test will be stork balance stand test the purpose of this test is to assess one's ability to maintain a balance or equilibrium equipment is flat non-slip surface and also your again stopwatch for the purpose. remove the shoes and place hands on the hips position the right foot against the inside knee of the left foot raise the left heel to balance on the ball of the foot do the same procedure with the opposite foot for the partner start the time as the heel of the performer is raised off the floor 
stop the time if any of the following occurs. The hand or the hands come off the hips. The supporting foot swivels or moves or halves in any direction. The non-supporting foot loses contact with the knee. The heel of the supporting foot touches the floor. There shall be three trials. Scoring, record the time taken on vote pit in the nearest seconds. That's all. Uh, thank you. And God bless.